Secretary Bodman is going to be is going to be all right. But you know they never cloud the blue. silver lining, and our silver lining is Lisa Evans. Lisa is an assistant secretary of energy, and she has the uh, interaction with with Congress and with the uh, intergovernments of of all. And so uh, she's. Uh, She's our substitute speaker today, but that's not to diminish it in any way because she, in her own right, is uh, is very, very accomplished. She worked in the White House for the president as an assistant president to the president for economic development in that economic development council. And so, you know, that's a very prestigious uh, uh, appointment. She also worked uh, on the staff of, of Senator Domenici uh, doing the uh, energy work uh, that uh, he's so famous for. So we're, real, we're all real happy to have Lisa here today. She's an attorney, graduated from the from, uh, University of Texas and then from, from Yale. But, uh, you know, we, we'll forgive her for all of those. <laughs> she, uh, she was born in Houston. She told me it's close to New Mexico. Worst thing, she could have been born in New Mexico. <laughs> but, so with that, let me introduce to you our great speaker, Lisa. Thank you for that very kind introduction, Mr. Secretary. Secretary Bobbin is very disappointed he can't be here with us today. He very much intended to be part of the celebration, and as the Secretary told you, he's undergoing some tests, so I know we all together wish him a speedy recovery. I'm very honored to represent the Secretary here, and I'll do my best to share his thoughts about Senator Domenici with you. And as a former Domenici staffer myself, I'm especially honored to be here in front of you to talk about the work Senator Domenici has done. Secretary Bodman has before described Senator Domenici as one of the finest examples of public servant anywhere in the government today. His intelligence, his passion, his get it done kind of attitude is a wonderful gift to the country. And Secretary Bodman wanted me to be very clear to say that it's been a wonderful gift to him in his service as a Secretary of Energy. Senator, we thank you so much for your years of service, and we thank your family for sharing you with our country for the past 36 years. I know that most of the presenters here are going to talk about a variety of topics. Uh, from the center's contributions to mental health, to financial responsibility, but I want to focus on his work in the field of energy. Senator Domenici understood the centrality of energy policy to our national economic strength many decades ago, and his most con important contribution in the field of energy, I believe, is in the, the nuclear renaissance, and his now famous speech, A New Nuclear Paradigm, which was delivered in 1997, at Harvard University. <coughs> Senator Bingham said at MIT, and Secretary Bodman went to MIT so he could appreciate that, but it was actually at Harvard University. Uh, Senator Domenici set in motion what is an honest debate about nuclear power's benefits and risks. He challenged the then prevailing wisdom that the U.S. experiment with nuclear power was done, and in doing so, he changed the nature of the conversation. He moved the discussion beyond piecemeal problems and concerns and compelled the country to look at nuclear power in its totality. And of equal importance, he pressed for a discussion of essential questions about the role of government in developing our commercial nuclear resources. To his credit, the senator did not focus only on commercial possibilities. He took on with equal skill and deliberation the security issues that then, as now, demand our attention throughout the U.S. nuclear complex. This includes our own nuclear weapon stockpile and the urgency of global nonproliferation efforts. He has, for example, been an ardent supporter of the department's non-proliferation work in Russia and elsewhere. He co-wrote with Senators Sam Nunn and Richard Luger bipartisan legislation to allow the United States to play a vital, important role in the dismantling and the securing of the former Soviet Cold War nuclear stockpile. He has guided our own nuclear stockpile stewardship as well, moving it from an underground testing uh, Form to a science-based program relying on modern scientific facilities and the world's fastest supercomputers, some housed here in New Mexico, that contribute to our scientific knowledge beyond just nuclear weapons. 